Keanu continues, I had no choice to move back to my home country for a few months until January 2023, where I started working as a junior engineer. Now I have experience and updated my resume, but still getting rejected. Uh, okay, Keanu, I, like I can tell you, you're in uh, Toronto, in Canada. Canada is in deep shit, Keanu. Keanu, like... People really don't appreciate it. Canada is in deep shit. What happened in the last four years annihilated a lot of small business. Small business is the backbone of Canada, United States, and the government's bureaucrats annihilated that. So a lot of people that had pretty good jobs lost their jobs, lost their security, right? Construction, material, cost of materials went up through the roof. So only companies that are flush with money can really take on the burden of construction, okay? Or individuals, uh, collectives uh, can do that. So Canada's in trouble, Keanu. One thing you might want to do is maybe look into another country where your degree and your experience... Um, uh will is something that they're looking for right that's needed in canada bureaucrats here are annihilating canada canada is in deep shit it's gonna go through some huge economic turmoil right keanu for clarification i'm still in my home country with my current job good good if it's a good job you're getting good experience build that experience up don't don't sacrifice a good job good experience to come to canada canada is in deep shit and the cost of living here is through the roof depending on where you are in your own country your money might go a lot further where you are than it will in canada right new fat on twitch there will be and are more people around us than we will be or are able to estimate i am settled to my own restrictions for now i need more activity and movement but i know how to deal with it i never have rolled out my talent or capacity stay tuned new fat turning out or lurking still disappears <laughs> thanks for popping in new fat <laughs> awesome awesome so keanu um and each province is different each province is different your skills might might be something they're looking for in alberta if you can stand the weather there the climate right Keanu. so it's best to stay where i am and grow here instead of returning to Keanu. Uh, Keanu, i can't i can't give you that advice i would say look canada is in trouble economically spiritually if you want to think about it socially uh politically Canada is about to go some serious turmoil. It, it's a shit show here, right? You lived here. You were in school, though, so I don't think you fully appre You might not fully appreciate. Uh, well, you think you weren't able to get a job, so maybe you do uh, appreciate uh, how much stress Canadians are in on right now, right? Uh, if you're with family. You have a good job, you have good pay, it's safe place to live, you're learning and building skills, and you're young. Unless you already set up some kind of job in Canada where you know the workforce, you know the people you're going to be working with is a job that you really like, uh, and the pay is going to be good. That you can afford to live here uh, i'm not sure what would entice you to come to canada like for example if rent in canada is insane in absolutely insane house prices apartment prices in canada are insane still it's a bubble and a half it should collapse but there might be hyperinflation with it going up, but the 
pay doesn't cover your expenses, right? Like, uh, give you an example. Like, you if you want to get a one bedroom apartment in Victoria, mediocre, it'll cost you like eighteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Like that's expensive. Right? How much are you going to be making? Let's say fifteen. And no, you can't get a fifteen hundred. Eighteen, two thousand dollars. Eighteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars, for a one bedroom apartment. That it's not. It's not a. It's not a shack, right? How much do you need to be clearing to be able to pay that, right? You need to be clearing four thousand dollars, right? That's after taxes. That's half your money going towards rent. Just half your money going towards rent, right? That means you need to be making like six, six and a half thousand dollars a month. Multiply that by twelve. You need to be making seventy-two thousand to seventy-five thousand dollars a year income to be able to just to live in a one-bedroom apartment, barely making ends meet. Right? I don't know. If I wasn't living here, I wouldn't be living here. <laughs> 